welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem. I am LuigiFan64D, and now, we are recently, we have went to a neighboring country, city, place for help, and they, well, turned us down because they were racist. So, um, meanwhile, even though that wasn't so successful, we had gained a very powerful nomad named Roth, Nomad Archer, as well as a thief named Matthew. So let's just continue with the next chapter. Lynn takes her leave of Arafin, finding no aid from its spiteful Marquess. Now, she and her companions resume their march toward Kaylin in earnest. Racing against time with her grandfather's life at the pri life the prize. Hurried and impatient, Lynn presses onward. Suddenly, a young boy appears and pleads for their assistance. Hmm, this looks interesting. Let's see what happens in Chapter 7. Siblings Abroad Really? We're under the battle right now? Didn't even, like, do anything yet. Please! Somebody, somebody, please help! That's enough! Get out now! I want none of your trouble! But, sir, why? You were so kind yesterday. I thought you were just two kids, a couple of traveling performers. If these men are chasing you, you must be up to no good. Now get up and get out! You're a plague on decent folk! But... <sighs> what a mess. Hmm. We arrive. Where are we, Kent? This is Kit Catholic? Catholic. If we head due south, we'll pass it to, into Kaylin. From here, I'd say we're about ten days' ride. To Castle Kaylin. Assuming we don't run into any delays, of course. Ten days. Huh? Who's him? P pardon me, but. Yes, can I help you? Y you and your friends, are you mercenaries? And if we are, I need your help! Lady Lindus, you mustn't let your guard down, not even for a child. I know. Forgive me, but we're in a hurry. Is there somebody else you can ask? There's no time! Nidian's been... It's my sister! Some men have taken her away! Your sister? Did you say your sister's been accosted? That's an odd word. Sane. That's right! By some cruel, awful man! I don't know what they'll do without Ninian. Lady Lindus, we must help them! Nonsense! We haven't the time! If the Marquess is as ill as we've heard, we must proceed! Kent, I... I, I want to help this child! Milady? I'm worried about my grandfather, of course. But this? I cannot stand and let a child be taken from her home! I see. I'm sorry, Kent. I am your loyal retainer. You owe me no apologies. You must do as your heart dedicates, di as your heart dictates, my lady. I will follow you, no matter where that may lead. Thank you. Ah, such a noble speech! Ever a true knight, that one. Ah, well, you're in luck, laddie. Let's go get your sister. Will you lead us to the men who've done this? Uh huh. They're really tough, so be careful. Leave them to us. We're pretty tough ourselves. Right, Tactician? There they are. What's with that guy in the robes? Ah! Oh no! <laughs> Found him! Come on, it's back to Nurgle with you. Quiet now. No! Don't let him go! We ain't supposed to kill you, but we sure can rough you up. Get him! boy's sister go. Ah, so you want to help the kid, huh? What a shame. You're gonna die for something you don't concern you. You think so, do you? Do we look so meek to you? I think you're in for a terrible shock. Stupid girl. You'll regret those words. Take him down, boys. Alright, now this is different. Like, since we're so far in the chapter, and we've got a, quite a big crew, we're allowed to this preparations menu. 
So here's a bunch of things we can do. We can pick the units we use to fight. It's like we have a lot of people, but only eight units of us can we man can I manage? I'm only one guy. So, um, here's where I get it gets to the point where I pick favorites, because I don't like Kent, so I'm not bringing him, but I'm bringing Matthew. Now Roth is good, but Will, I just think he's a better, because. Yeah, you'll find out why, because, well, for one, the movement. Sure, Wrath is better, Roth is better movement, but there's a little hindering on the hills and forests, while the Will has no real hindrance there. And let's see what else. I'm taking Florina, Dorcas, Will, Urk. Urk's our only magic user, and Sarah's our only healer and will need her. Matthew is really good because he's your only thief, so we'll take him long. Sana instead of Kent because I like him, and we're forced to take... Lynn. So that's done. And trade. We're going to trade around the units. Since I don't have Kent anymore, I'm going to give his vulnerary to Urk. I'm going to... What else do I have to do? Let's see. He has an iron lance, an iron sword, and a javelin. Um... Hmm. Hey, his iron sword needs use, so I'll trade him that trade him for better weapons. So Kent is still going to be used, but only for armor. And in case... Yeah, I'll just leave it at this. I think this is good. Alright, so there's all the armor. Oh wait, I forgot. Roth has an iron bow, so I'll give that to Will. And trade that vulnery. Who needs an extra vulnery? Matthew. Other than that, we should be pretty set for the next fight. Alright, Fortune. We can't do this yet, and I'll describe this later. Uh, check the map. We get to check the map before we fight. Let's see what we got. We have this guy right here. He's a shaman, which uses dark magic. I'll go into a, like... There's a sort of a weapons triangle for magic as well. But I'll go into that in depth a little later. We have... There's already an archer right in front of us. There's a village that I'm gonna have to get to. And, well, the horse... Our horse people... Horsemen are best for it. But Florina has to watch out for this archer. And we've got a couple mages, a bunch of swords... Basic we Basic armor... Armor? Basic units. And this tree over here. I'm not sure what's so special about this. Oh well. So, that's all we got, really. And there's a two houses over here. Here's an, a vendor. Vendors are different than armories, because armory sells you generic, like, weapons. A vendor sells you items, like vulneraries or healing staffs. So I might need to have Sarah visit there. Alright, now that I got a good... Uh, now that I checked out the battlefield a bit, let's, um, go here. And I can save again if I really want to, but I really don't haven't done anything really worth saving. So, um, that's all there is for the preparations screen. Uh, oh, and it tells you in the upper right, tells you what to do, like what your main objective is. Like here it's to defeat Heinz. Heinz? Heinz. I'm guessing it's this guy. There we go. Oh my, he looks scary. And he is a shaman as well. And, oh, there's one thing I forgot. Oh, yep. Press the Z button, now you know what I'm doing. This is obviously the Game Boy Player for the GameCube, and I'm running it through the cable. Anyway, enough of the hardware. You can change the formation of your units. Like, if I really wanted to have the horsemen, like, in the back, because they have enough movement to make up for that, that's cool. Now, if I don't, I want to fix them around, you can do whatever I, I can do whatever I want, but I can't change, change Lynn's position, because she's already been there. So, I think I've done enough setup, and, uh, any options? Nope. Alright, then I'm good. Let's start. Huh? I see we're facing a shaman. I've heard that practitioners of the dark arts are fearsome foes. We'll have to be careful. What? Who are you? Please forgive me. I never meant to startle you. Your robes, they look religious. Like religious vestiary. Are you an Elimi an Elamine bishop? Yes. Well, no. I'm only an acolyte, an Elamine monk, to be specific. 
My name is Lucius. Do you have business with us? I was at the inn when this child came seeking help. The innkeeper was afraid to get involved. He was unpleasant. He w I, mean, I wasn't afraid of him. I'm used to being treated that way. That's awful. May I please lend you my services? I truly wish to help the boy, if only a little. Of course. Thank you very much. The blessings of Saint Elamine be upon you. So now, we have Lucius. Lucius is a monk that uses light magic. Traveling Acolyte, gentle and serene. And I kind of like the lame Lucius anyway. It sounds pretty cool. So, um, Lucius is really good for magic, but no defense. It happens sometimes. But Lucius is a really cool unit. Oh, and this guy. He's the kid we're helping out. He's a bard of all classes that he had to choose. He's a bard. And his name is Nils. A bard possessing arcane powers, the brother of Ninian, whoever that is. Apparently he's really good at dodging. He cannot fight, but that doesn't mean he's... And he has, like, low HP, low defenses, but that does Actually, he has good defenses, but that doesn't mean he's useless. I'll go into that later. So let's have Lucius. If you wish me to attack the shaman, very well. So here, Lucius will be attacking this shaman here. As you can see, Lucius is re doing really well against his dark arts, as expected. Again, oh yeah, magic triangle. There's sort of a magic triangle going on here. Like, light magic is r really good against dark magic. Dark magic is really good against anim anima magic. By anima magic, I mean, um, huh? I mean, like, Urk's magic. Like, elements, like fire and all that. And, well, yeah. Then elemental magic is good against light magic. And there's the weapons triangle, like the sword beating the axe, beating the lance, beating the sword. It's the same thing. It's really cool. I can help too. Nils, can you fight? No. But I'm a bard, and bards have use are useful to have around. A bard? Do you mean you're a minstrel? This is no place for a ballad or a salon or a saltarello. Saltarello, however you pronounce it. Come on, trust me. I'm all yours, tactician. All right. Here's what I mean by he isn't useless. You like me to play for Lucius, right? So. Have him walk over to Lucius, and he will play a song. See how it says selecting you to refresh? Bard will go over and... Does a little dance and song for him, and he gets another turn. So now, Lucius is able to attack once more. So what do you think? That was lovely. Invigorating, even. You ought to play for me sometime. I could use the boost. Everyone could. My music could refresh you all. So now, Lucius is able to attack the monk once more. However, I think I'll just have Matthew finish him off. Because, um... Wouldn't... Why not? He needs the EXP anyway. Alright, so now that's done. Lucius has another move. And I guess he'll move over here. Or maybe he can go back to this house and yell at him. That's quite a group you've gotten yourself involved with. You do know you're facing the Black Fang, right? Anyone they target winds up, well, you know. No one escapes the Fang. That's what they say anyway. You and those odd children, I'd say you're finished. Not that I'll have any part of it. Of course not. Yeah, that was the guy that turned us that turned them down at the end. So, I'm going to have Sane here. I thought it was Kent for a second. Saying, attack this archer. And hope he hits. Yep. Ouch. And now, this dude doesn't have enough range. Yeah, it doesn't have enough range, so now Florina can go over and finish him off. Uh, Iron Lance. Doesn't matter. Yeah. And now Florina has a safe passage to the village over there. So now we just gotta move up our units. Like, Will has to go here. I should have Sarah stop by here, at the vendor. This is a general store. Can I, how can I help you? You get to buy just whatever you want. Like, 
vulneraries. I'll buy another heal stat just in case. And that's all. You can also buy another fire spell, but Urk hasn't been using his too much. So, that's just basically the new mechanics that have been introduced this round. Nothing too fancy or too difficult to get. And, third turn to move up. Uh, not much. To, nothing much. So I'll just fly over here to the village and visit. So, how much do you know about magic, huh? What? Magical attacks are special. You can't just avoid them like a sword or an axe. Not even if you're wearing armor. Who's tough against magic? Let me think. Well, anyone who uses magic with staffs. Pegasus Knights, too. Hmm? You got others who need to battle magic users? I've got something for them. It's a special kind of water. Pure water, it's called. Just sprinkle a bit on you. It'll protect you and lessen the damage you take a bit. Go on, take it. Don't be so shy. It's not like I'm giving you gold or anything. This stuff's strongest when you first put it on. It gets weaker as time passes, so be careful. And now we've got a pure water. As the man told, pure water really increases your magical resistance. However, as it keeps, like once you activate it, it increases it by like, I don't know, five or seven. But as time passes after that first turn, it begins to wear off. So it'll really help when you're facing something powerful with magic. But, eh, I'm not, I haven't really been prone on using them too often anyway. So I just got to keep my dudes moving forward. And of course, Nils is always going to be left behind. So I think I'll have Urk hit, no. I'll have, yeah. Sane take him out. Or at least, hit him. Missed. Uh, it's been a while since I've been able to play this. I really miss this game. So, well, I mean the difference between that, between the previous chapter and this chapter. So let's cast fire on this guy and get Urk some EXP. And there's a level up. Magic. You, he'll really need that boost on magic. And he. What? Huh? Okay. Whatever. I just beat an axe warrior dude and he dropped an iron lance. This makes no sense to me. Whatever. And Sarah finally levels up. What? Whatever. I hope all her level ups aren't gonna be like that. Alright, let's see what they do now. Yep, saw that coming. Ah. Hm. Ooh, she's so close to a level up. And they're getting closer to us. Saying heals because he's on a fortress. And just have him hide in the mountains, I guess. And now, Florina should be able to fly over and take him out. Ooh, critical! Wow, she's really nailing those critical hits recently. And another one for speed. And just have her move on. Move on. Matthew can travel with no problem. Armor Slayer. Don't want that right now. I guess I'll have Lynn move over here and have Nils give her another turn. Nils will become a very valuable unit for you in your party a lot later in the game. Trust me. But for right now, he's just not too great. Eh, give it time. And he'll prove his worth. And now... I will have Sane guard this bridge. I have we haven't seen Sane's critical yet, have we? Huh. 
Who knows when they when they'll just pop out of nowhere. That's another. Oh wait, these aren't called brigands or bandits anymore. They really are called black fangs. And the sword increased. And there's I just realized that. Uh. And same levels up. HP and luck. Not that bad. Oh, he has a long range weapon. Fire spell. Oh. That hurt. Fine. I can hit you. I can fight you with your own game. Fire spell. Here's where Nils gets helpful. I'm going to move Will over there, and then Nils can give him another turn to hopefully, hopefully, hit the other guy on the guy on the bridge. Nope. Oh well. I think I'll have him. I just realized that Lynn hasn't been doing too much recently. Oh well. Probably just... Probably just me thinking... What on earth am I doing? He has no hit per chance. No chance of hitting him. So let's just move away and throw a javelin. Why did I do that? He's on a mountain. I can't hit him. Maybe if I'm right in front of him. Alright, Florina, your turn. Man, still dodging. Slim Lance. Oh, I missed. Oh. Come on, I just need a hit. A hit from anyone will do. Matthew. It's good enough, as long as it hits. Yes! Good job, Matthew! And he levels up! Skill, speed, and luck. You'd think he'd have a lot more luck for a thief. And unfortunately, I can't hit that guy anymore. So I think I'll just heal Sane. I don't really know if Sarah is worth all this training. Like an EXP farming, but because I never really what? No. I see you've gotten a little careless here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, good, you can't get her. Ugh. I'm sorry, that's a little too close for comfort. All right. Too weak. A little too close for comfort there, sir. Oh, can't even go there. Unfortunately, that mountain is really getting on my nerves. And it's time for Florina to fly away. Or I could have her take out... Yeah, because you can't move. You can't move either. I could just have you have her take out that guy. Nope, not worth it. Vulnerary. Alright, let's see what he does. Florina. That's a really bad choice. Because she has good magic defense. Why didn't he attack the thief? Well, finally, Will can... Nope, he can't. Oh, I really hate mountains. Ah. 
And finally, say you can have good movement again. Now, to deal with this guy. Unfortunately, it's really difficult to fight these. For a thief, anyway. Uh, Iron Lance should... I'll use a Slum Lance and see what happens. <laughs> you missed! Alright, Nils didn't do anything. So let's have Matthew finish him off. Armor Slayer. That works. It's not going to get much use anyway. Didn't even get hit with fire. However, that I did not see him. This is going to hurt. Very painfully. Ow! Nine damage. Okay. Come on, Lucius, where are you? Got him with Dorcas. Now I'm just curious, how much of a difference is he does nine damage? Oh right, it's Flux. Flux has some special properties. Like Flux is really an odd dark spell that has standard power. But if I recall correctly, there's also the dark spell that isn't affected by magic defense. It may be th I may be thinking of something else. Like Luna, but I don't know. Flux is still pretty powerful in on, like in itself. So I'm just gonna beat him with lightning, which is surprisingly a magic spell, like a light magic spell. And Flux has little power and lightning. Finish him off with an iron sword and I really like his Matthew. He's really helpful. Powerful. Well, later he's powerful. Ooh, he got one for defense and magic resistance. So now let's just move along. Oh, I finally got around that mountain. Nope, too powerful. I'm standing right here, equipping a javelin and using a vulnerary. Vulnerary. Expecting him to come in. Flux is pretty much the only dark spell they're gonna use now, like this early. Ooh, her and her lance. Power be good. So let's check out this house. Huh? My lord! What brings you here? What? What? Ah, Matthew. Ellawood and I are on a monthly bout. You're still testing one another's fighting prowess, eh? It's a solid friendship you two share, that you can practice so faithfully. If you don't sharpen your blade, you lose your edge. So, tell me. What are you doing here? My lord Uther was curious about the, su the succession issue here. Oh, the long-lost granddaughter thing, huh? Right? So, which way does my brother lead? By my assessment, he will back the granddaughter's claim that the Marquess's brother, Lundgren, was too ambitious by far. Left, al left alone, we might, wait. we might wait to find him at Ostia's door before long. Sounds Sound advice, I think. My return to Ostia is going to be delayed a bit. Would you mind letting letting Lord Uther know? What? So the Marquess's brother is now your personal messenger? You always did have a good sense of humor, my lord. Don't forget my message. What impudence. What was that? What? We'll learn about that. We'll find out about that later. So obviously Matthew is a little more than he's letting on. Mainly because I don't know who that guy was. Well, he's, well, I do, but I'm not letting you know right now. 
because that would be spoilers. But right now, let's just focus on getting Lin to defeat these guys. So, since I have a bow... Ooh, I have an iron bow and I can take this guy out, but he'll be painful. But I can take this guy out, so I'll do so. Alright. So, Lucius is, is obviously the best equipped unit to take out the boss. However, at the same time, so is Florina. Uh, mm. I take it back. Doesn't seem likely that she'll take him out. So, I think I'll just attack it. Who are you supposed to be? Playing the heroes in some foolish nightly romance. You may think you're helping the children, but you're only rushing to your doom. Whatever. Lame. Awesome. And he gains a little bit of health. And attacks Will? Why do you attack Will? Hmm, guess he was the best one to, to hit at that point. So I guess I'll move... Where's... Alright, now here's... I'm going to move... A little bit, move a little bit. Have Nils... <laughs> like, give Lucius a little boost. And now Lucius can fight again. And take out the boss. With lightning! You were only striking at air. You are too late. The girl's already. Almost level up. Got him. Nils, where's your sister? Ninian! Ninian? She's not here. Why? Where could she be? My Lady Lindis, a villager spotted a group of men riding south. The boy's dear sister. They must have her. Come, we must give chase. But... But we won't make it. What if they've already... Are you looking for this girl here? Who is... Who is that guy? Ninian! Ninian! She'll be fine. She just lost consciousness. Who are you? I'm Elwood of Frey. My father is the Marquess. The Marquess's son. She was with a band of ruffians. She seemed upset. Obviously. She looked in need of rescuing, so I just kind of... Was I wrong to involve myself? No, no, you saved your life. Thank you. My name is Lynn. I'm from Sake. I'm Marquess Kayleen's granddaughter. Marquess Kayleen? This and that and such and such explaining the plot and the story. And that's my story. It's not an easy tale to believe, I know. No, I do believe you. What? At first glance, all I saw was the daughter of a plainsfolk. Now I can see it, though. You have your grandfather's eyes. Do you know my grandfather? Marquess, Lord Housen, is my father's good friend. I also know that, we are, that the proud people of Sake tell no lies. It's true, isn't it? Yes, thank you. I would not have expected any Lycian noble to be so courteous to a Sakaian nomad. You seem to be in trouble. May I be of assistance? Thank you for your kind offer. This is my problem, though, and I'll deal with it. I see. I'll be in the area for a few days longer. If you need anything, please let me know. Lindis, I'm on your side. Yay, we made another friend. Ninian! Are you awake? Nels? Is it really you? Oh, you're safe. Uh-huh. These people helped me. Who are they? Uh... I'm Lynn. I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm Lady Lynn. Thank you. I'm called Ninian. My brother Nils and I are traveling performers. Both of you? Your brother's a musician. How about you, Ninian? I... I 
dance. What? Oh my! You're a warrior dancer? Sane. Later, please. Uh, um, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, of course. A dancer? Your clothes don't look like, don't look like those of a dancer. N Ninian dances to honor life. It's special. Sacred. A sacred dance? What does that mean? I... The dance I perform when we travel is just a normal dance. My other dance, though... When they caught me, I, I twisted my ankle. I cannot dance to aid you. I'm sorry. Please, don't worry. We're just happy to see that you're out of harm's way. Thank you. But I'm concerned about your leg. We can't travel. You can't travel on it. I have an idea. Would you be so too much to ask that we would travel with you? I can't allow that. It's, it's far too dangerous. We're being hunted. We never know how we're going to be attacked. We wouldn't be a hindrance. We, 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 we could even help you. Right, Ninian? Yes. We might be able to repay your debt using our special talents. Special abilities? When something poses a threat to us, we can sense the approaching. It's approach. Truly? That's amazing! We can feel it coming, but we can't do anything to stop it. You're warriors, though, so you don't have to worry. What do you think, Kent? I think leaving them here would cause Lady Linda's more worry than having them travel with us. Say? Oh, never mind, I don't know what, you're about, what your answer is. Uh, do you really want to travel with us? Of course! You would have our gratitude, lady. Oh. What's wrong, Ninian? I've lost my ring. Your ring? Not Ninny's grace? The very one. They stole it? Those curs! Was it valuable? It must have been to have Nils say something like that. It was a keepsake from our departed mother. It was blessed by the spirit of Ninius. There's no other like it in the world. And now we have lost it to those villains. There's nothing we can do. You're right. Can I talk to you, tactician? You heard all that, right? What do you think? I'd really love to retrieve Ninian's ring for her. But if Nils is right, those thieves might prove to be too strong for us. What should we do? Here's decision-making time. Decision-making time. Now, this is a side quest. It'll kind of deter us from, like, you don't need to do this. But you can do this anyway. So, what exactly should I do? Am I going to accept this side quest? And and give back Ninian's ring? And probably something special to them? Or should I just forget about this and hurry to, Lin to Lin's grandfather? Which one do you think I should do? Which one am I going to do? I mean... They truly might be too powerful for us. I mean, we could lose this fight, and it'll be all over. Or we could successfully get back the ring and me a memento. But that's quite a lot for a little trinket, isn't it? Hmm. Which one am I going to do? Uh... Give me some time to think.